Hey guys, TJ Hero here. Within the last few weeks, I was able to pick up a game that I've been looking for for a really long time at a decent price. Felix the Cat on the NES. So today, I am going to be playing through the game and ranking all the bosses in Felix the Cat from worst to best. Are you a fan of platformers with a variety of power-ups and varying level styles? If so, you'll find a lot of enjoyment playing Felix the Cat. It definitely isn't a difficult game. Players familiar with the NES titles like Ninja Gaiden or Castlevania can probably expect to beat this game in about an hour or less. While it is easy, it's a very charming NES game and I highly recommend it. It's a perfect game to toss in when you want to beat something and still have a little fun. From worst to best, Felix the Cat on the NES bosses. So as usual, before we begin, I will explain how these bosses are ranked. Number one, the battle itself, how it plays, and its strategies. Number two, how does the battle affect the main character at the time of the fight? Number three, the lore behind the boss. And number four, the boss's design and setting. And we are going to start this off with the boss that is ranked the lowest. Master Cylinder. Master Cylinder is a boss that appears twice in the game. The first battle you face him in the air, and the second you battle under the sea. In both fights, he floats up and down on the right side of the screen, and Felix needs to try and shoot him down. Master Cylinder is a villain from all the way back in the 1960s Felix the Cat cartoon, which is pretty awesome. But unfortunately for him, his dated, battery-like design doesn't do him much justice. Poindexter Poindexter, much like Master Cylinder, is a boss who faces Felix twice in the game. Neither of the battles against him are particularly difficult. Poindexter battles in his weird bird catapult thing as the boss of the first stage and as the boss of the snow level. Poindexter is the professor's genius nephew and, interestingly enough, is occasionally on good terms with Felix, who has hardly any difficulty beating him. You can totally tell Dexter from Dexter's lab referenced Poindexter's design. Gulpo Gulpo is a pretty interesting villain. His battle is almost identical to Master Cylinder's, however, I really like this King of the Blobs design he has. Finding information on him was pretty difficult, and it turns out he was actually only in one episode of the old Felix TV show, but he has made some appearances as a villain in some of the Felix comic books. Now, don't get me wrong, his battle isn't any better than the previous two. He just looks super cool, and gives a notch in Felix's belt. Rock Bottom Besides sharing a name with an overrated wrestler's finisher, Rock Bottom is the professor's top henchman. He is normally depicted as a bumbling idiot, but his boss fight stands over the others just because it's a little different. Felix takes him on pretty early in his quest, but Rock Bottom makes the most of his appearance, jumping on a spring and literally trying to shoot our feline friend. Felix taking him out lowers his number of adversaries and brings him one step closer to saving Kitty. Evil Felix When doing research on this boss, I wasn't sure if he was supposed to be Alex, Felix's evil cousin who would often paint himself black to mess with Felix, or just a reuse of Felix's sprite. Regardless, Felix faces an evil cowboy version of himself that attempts to shoot him down. Felix needs to avoid the bullets to take on this cool cat. Call me a sucker, but I like evil versions of familiar characters. It was cool seeing Felix fight himself. The best. The Professor. I don't normally like to rank the final bosses at the top of the list, unless they really deserve it. In the professor's case, he was the only boss that provided any sort of challenge, with his sporadic movements and invincibility after being hit by attacks. 
Felix got it easy though, as he has many magic bags to jump into when things get tough. The professor has a very stereotypical evil professor vibe to him, but his mustache is badass. I also really love the fact that he taunts Felix in between the levels, threatening Kitty. You get to face him in a large space and he will float around quite a bit to try to defeat Felix. Having any sort of challenge in this game offered a breath of fresh air, and it was fitting coming from Felix's arch rival. Also, his full name is Professor Nutty Nutmeg, which is super funny and super lame at the same time. So I guess that's why he's the best. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching this from worst to best on Felix the Cat on the NES. Be sure to check out all of my other from worst to best episodes. I've got some on The Legend of Zelda, Castlevania, and much, much more. So check those out, and also check out all the rest of the stuff on my channel. Thank you so much, everybody.